of in the mood. I don't know. I just want to make silly faces at you guys today. Like, mm. I would even judge a pageant. I've been watching too much Toddlers and Tierras on Netflix lately. Okay, I'm sorry. I just want to like, that's so cute. Every time they do that, I'm just like, can I do that in public? It's lunchtime. So today is one of my most requested, most, most requested videos, most requested videos as of late. But before I get into the true subject matter of this video, I am so excited to announce and to show you guys that I started making Swamp Family buttons and I love making this kind of stuff. I don't know, I have a button press and so I was like, you know what, I'll make some Swamp Family buttons while I'm still designing all of my new t-shirt designs. I know you guys have been looking for channel t-shirts forever or some of you have I don't know I a, a lot of you seem to be looking for channel shirts so while we're waiting for channel shirts I made buttons so they come in a pack of four I made ones that say swamp family and this one says what is earth and this one says yes and this one says so Tropicana it's kind of all of our little swamp lingo and I made them into buttons for backpacks or clothing or jackets I have my on my denim jacket. I just wanted to show you guys those. I'm super excited about them. The link to those will be in the info box. I'm super excited. I designed them all myself. I made them all myself. So everything that is ever like associated with my channel stuff, I hand make it all. I design it all. It's all cool. So today I am super excited to do kind of a review of Black Milk. These were sent to me and I actually had Outfit of the Days planned for these pieces originally and that's how I was going to share them with you guys. And I already posted a picture of the leggings I have on my Instagram and I got a lot of requests to do this. And then I wore my other piece in my summer casuals lookbook the other day. But I've been getting a lot of requests to do a black milk review and to really show you guys the pieces and talk about the pieces. So I decided to do an extra kind of bonus Jonas video about black milk because a lot of you guys are curious about it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk about it today. First of all, I am never gonna throw this packaging away. This is exactly how it arrived to me from Black Milk. I adore packaging like this, so I'm forever going to keep my Black Milk pieces in the bags that they come in. I can safely say that I think I'm a sharky now, you guys. I'm just now getting into the whole black milk thing and I go to the website like every day now just to look at all of the stuff. And somebody told me that they are making Napoleon leggings and I'm literally like going back every day in hopes that that is not just a rumor that somebody told me to get me super jazzed. But it's supposed to have like Napoleon on it. It's like some n majestic Napoleon battle scene. And I'm obsessed with Napoleon, so if ever I could wear Napoleon pants, you better believe I'd be wearing Napoleon pants. So the first piece that I have to show you guys is the cathedral print leggings. And let me just tell you, I don't even know how well this translates onto this camera. On Instagram when I did the picture, it looked pretty sweet. But the colors of these leggings are just so incredibly bright. And the pattern is just, seriously, I'm so excited about these. As you guys can see, it's real like Notre Dame de Paris style. You know, we got a we got a nice little dove motif here on the side, and then one leg has the Virgin Mary on it, and the other leg, I think this is supposed to be Saint Michael, and then it's the same on the back. And I'm really trying to, like I said, I have an outfit of the day planned for these, but they are just freaking glorious, and you can honestly, I feel, style these so many different ways. I've already worn them twice and both times I kind of just threw on like a big distressed t-shirt kind of had a bunch of holes in it so that's kind of how I've been styling them just really casual for the summer and I have to say when I first saw these I've always adored the print but I took dance when I was a kid and so I was thinking that they were gonna feel like that kind of like leotard fabric like that kind of smothers you and it feels really really hot but I can happily say that that is not how these are at all. They are very very comfortable very breathable fabric so I can totally rock these even in the summer here in Texas where it's literally like 103 degrees Fahrenheit and it feels even hotter than that with the humidity and then obviously I can wear them in the winter too because they are like long legging pants. It doesn't get too cold here in the winter. So these are 83 
8% polyester and 17% spandex. I think I'm saying that would make 100%, right? So they are a very, very good fabric and they, they kind of feel like when you touch them they feel thick which I would have to say is a good thing you know so in case like I don't know you fall or like drag your leg against something like they're not going to get a hole ripped into them but when you put them on once again it's not that like smothery feeling like I never was like breaking out into a sweat or anything like that so this is a very 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 breathable fabric and I'm here to say that I have now played both sides of the fence by owning a knockoff of black milk style and by owning the legitimate thing and I can just report that you get what you pay for I've I've never really gotten a lot of wear out of the black milk copycats which were supposed to be a um a copy of the cosmic print leggings they never were really comfortable or breathable or anything like they were kind of like the smothering style and the print is not nearly as bright and as badass as the original ones are so I can just say you get what you pay for and the price difference between these which are sold on black milk for $73 I believe to the knockoffs that I did pay for the knockoffs were around $58 I think so you're much better with just like you know saving even those extra $20 and putting them towards the real thing instead of getting the knockoffs so this was the first piece that they sent to me and then the next piece that I I got is the ribs bathing suit now on this site you have to look for this under the swimsuits not under the bodysuits or anything like that and I have absolutely adored this piece for so long it is perfect literally so comfortable perfect sizing that's the other thing um since they are based in australia and i know people are concerned about like international sizing and whatever if you just follow the measurements and the size chart that they have on the website you'll be just fine because my measurements were a small and i ordered a small in both items and they are perfect size so don't be nervous about sizing as long as you you know just take measurements and then follow whatever measurements are on the chart this this is printed front and back as well. On the front you get the nice little rib cage and on the back you get, you know, spine and tailbone and all that jazz. So this was the piece that I featured in my Summer Casuals lookbook already. It's so breathable, so comfortable, very lightweight, but at the same time, you know, it's completely opaque. You can't see through it or anything like that. This is hands down the most comfortable bathing suit I have ever owned. So I'm not much of a swimmer or anything, so you're probably going to see me style this a lot on my channel by layering it under things how people do like the bandeau tops and everything this is kind of like my bandeau top I would much rather you kind of like get a peek of skeletons than any other kind of like fabric or anything I've seen on a bandeau top it's so so cute and so comfortable and you can really get away with styling this a lot of different ways even if you are going to wear it to the beach um, and I actually kind of want to make a beach lookbook about different ways to style a bathing suit so you're probably gonna see this featured in that video as well I already had it planned once again before I decided I was gonna do a review for you guys as well so I kind of have a lot of different outfits in mind that you could wear this with and kind of like layer skirts or layer stuff over it that you could wear to the beach and then you know you already have your bathing suit on underneath this and I cannot wait to wear this to Disney World when I go in October because I always like to have bathing suits and bathing suit tops when I go there you know for like water rides and stuff then you already have your bathing suit on but you can like layer it with other clothes too if that makes any sense so definitely expect to see an outfit of the day with these leggings super super soon and then I'll probably film the beach lookbook in August and you guys will get to see this piece again this has kind of become like my new shoe territory I think I don't know maybe I'll start doing like black milk unbaggings that would be cool I'm just a huge fan and like like I said you can definitely style these pieces a bunch of different ways casual dressed up layering whatever you want to do just the prints and the colors it's it's even beyond what I expected honestly it's just it's it's even better in person than it is in pictures or on the website if that makes any sense whatsoever and then the other cool thing is I kind of feel like black milk is a really interactive company with their fans because when I was checking out the website I 
I was looking and seeing all the customer submitted photos like underneath the listing on the actual like legit Black Milk website and uh, on their Facebook page as well. And they have these little hashtags. So if you wear your stuff and you post a picture of yourself in it on Instagram or on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, it kind of, you can click on that hashtag and like see how a bunch of other people have styled it. And it's almost like a little club. I don't know. I really, really like that kind of like interactive thing that you can do with stores and not many stores offer that kind of thing. I don't know. It was just really cool. I posted a picture of me wearing the cathedral leggings on Instagram and it said like cat, cat leggings or something. I don't, I don't even remember. Um, and when I clicked on that tag on Instagram, there was like thousands of other people who had submitted themselves wearing these leggings. And it was just really cool to like browse through and see how other people like all over the world styled their same leggings. So that was a super fun aspect of it for me. And like I said, I'm super obsessed now. So they've gotten me hooked. Black Milk is like crack. Like I said, I hope that they come out with different shoes as well. I already have the Black Milk Cosmic Rainbow Damsels and I don't know. I can't wait. I hope that they come out with other shoes like in the fall or next year or whatever. If you guys are a Sharky, can you please fill me in and let me know what the ammo collection is or the nylon wars i don't know i'm this is like a completely new world to me and i really want to know because they've been having these like counter like countdown things on the top of the website for about two weeks and i just like i've been googling everywhere and i can't find out i feel like it's like a mystic secret and i want to know tell me your secrets so if anybody knows what that is or if anybody can tell me about napoleon leggings is that happening napoleon leggings can i wear napoleon on my butt please Please. So uh, for you guys' convenience, I'm going to link y'all to these two products down below. But even if, I don't know, like even if you're not going to buy anything, just go check out the Black Milk website because they have so many different styles and they actually have a tab called Museum and I couldn't fall asleep the other night and I was just going through pages and pages on my iPhone of some of the other leggings and the other designs that they've had and it's just, it's freaking cool to look at. They had some that was like covered in bees and it just looks like insects everywhere. I don't know. It was just, it was freaking awesome. Let me know down below if more black milk stuff, um, more like black milk unbaggings, if you guys would like to see that. I'm totally hooked. I'm not even gonna lie. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are a Sharky, comment down below. Let me know what pieces you have in your collection. I'd love to know what you guys think about this stuff. Please take a minute to subscribe. I'd love to have you here on my channel. Links to everything are gonna be down below including my little Swamp Family button packs that are on my Etsy site right now. You can like me on Facebook if you want, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. And I love you guys. I hope y'all are having a great week. Don't forget to enter my back to school contest giveaway. I'm so jazzed about that. That was the longest outro ever. Love you guys. See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Next, I got two packs of regular colored pencils because some list somewhere said that you guys need to color with boring colors as well. Um, I also read that you guys needed index cards. I didn't get no regular index cards. No, sir.